Oh boy, this is a tough one. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk for the first time ever on this channel. I've had a lot of firsts so far throughout this year. We report on a possible cheater, maybe I should say a rule breaker in a charity event. That being the Fortnite Streamer Bowl, it did conclude just last night. It was a great event. Might have more videos on that for the future for all of you guys because the results were astonishing. It was a very, very fun event to watch with all these player comms. With those player comms, though, came the possible and seemingly exposing of Nick A30 and his part who did cheat in the event. I should call it rule breaking though because when it comes time for designated landing zones for this pairing, they actually went outside that landing zone. If you guys do not know, each and every team throughout the match actually were given uh, throughout the matches designated landing zones to actually stay inside of until the zones did start moving. Nick A30 was caught on tape, you know, very, very audibly saying they were going to go outside that zone and try and stretch it as far as possible without being caught. Even if they were caught, they'd only be given a warning. All of this during a charity event, right, kind of driving a large debate of whether or not this is right or wrong. Here's the clip. The big mounts in here, all these spots have loot that they're, spawns on top. They're going yeah, to they're going to be keeping an eye for is retail key. Don't forget yeah. these power but lines. That's what monster's what talking about. What if we right? stretch out area, about three of them and you could zip line more... to any single one. Dude, there's no real good like POIs that are know. nearby. That's the only that problem. So up there. He yeah. Could set up with a sniper yeah. rifle and do exactly what he yeah. did last time. So I think what we want to do cuz remember we we get a warning. We don't I mean, get plays all around around this we just go back in. Sacks, does Nate Hill. It's not a bad thing. No, it can't be that obvious, dude. It can't be that obvious. Yeah. Okay. And something that Tifu has been relying on the fishing. Damn. To add more insult to injury, guys, we even have chat tweeting about this. Many of the Reddit posters out there noticing that, yes, apparently during match three, it was actually Nick A30 and partner who snuck up behind Chap and his partner because they came from outside the zone they were supposed to be in, and that influenced the ultimate uh, standings in the end where Chap could have placed higher. Thus, when you really think about it, and again, this is very, very detailed, but when you really think about it, that means that Nick A30 and his partner's charity benefited more. Meanwhile, Chap and his partner's charity Charity benefited less because of these results. Now, even take away from this, when it comes to competitive integrity, those rules are set in place for a reason, and maybe the rules should not have given out a warning in the first place. It should have been an immediate punishment, but the fact is this, we have an audible, uh, an audible admission to breaking the rules and cheating. This coming from a guy as well who's called out other players in the past, it does not look good if I'm being honest, right? There are certainly two sides, plenty of people defending the guy, plenty of people attacking the guy. I would say both for their own reasons. Uh, when when it comes to my own personal opinion, this is not competitive integrity. This is not morally correct. And especially when it comes to a charity event, I don't know if that makes it worse or better. I it's tough, guys. I would say, ultimately, I don't think this deserves a punishment outside of the game in terms of a fine or a suspension. I don't think it will go that far. It certainly probably deserves an apology, though, and maybe an explanation from Nick on exactly why he did it. Nick A30 blatantly admits to actually breaking the rules, guys. Maybe cheating is a bit of a strong term out there, but whenever you do break the rules, that is also cheating. What do you guys think about this? All of it during the Fortnite Streamer Bowl. More results and news coming soon for all of you guys sometime soon. Until next time, take care. I'll see you guys back here then.